Now that you have a good idea of how to use MapKit, it's time to put your newfound knowledge to the test. Our current map is fixed in one location, but we want to update the map to the selected location. Your challenge is to alter the current project to pass in the location to the map view controller and then update the map view. This requires that you update prepare for segue and then add a property to the map view controller to take an interesting place object. There's not a whole lot of code to write, just take it one piece at a time. You'll do great. Pause the video and try it out. Okay, how'd that challenge go for you? Let's walk through it together. So here I have my demo project open and we have to update two different parts of this to get it to work. We need to update our view controller and you can see it over here to send in interesting place. And then we need to update our map view controller to actually receive that interesting place. Okay, so let's start with our view controller. So we need to send an interesting place to our map view controller and a good place to do this is in prepare for segue. So I'm going to scroll down here and we'll just put this, we'll say right here. And to do this, I'll simply type prepare. Whoops, we don't want prepare for interface builder. We want prepare for segue like so. Okay, in our prepare for segue, we always want to check to see if we are working with the correct segue. So we're going to check against the identifier and we're looking for the map segue. Next, I need to get a reference to my map view controller. And I need to make sure I have a currently selected place. If I have neither of those, we'll just return. Okay, with that, I'm now going to assign my selected place to my map view controller. Of course, there is one big problem, is that we don't have a selected place added to our map view controller. So we need to do this now. I'm gonna switch over to map view controller here, and I'm going to create a new property. Let's call this place. And this is going to be a type of interesting place. And of course, this is going to be an optional. Now, if I build, that should solve our compile error. Okay, so now that we have our interesting place, we want to zoom in on it. And we do this within view did load. So let's scroll down here. And right now, what we're doing is we're getting Apple's HQ. We want to use our interesting place. First, we want to make sure we actually have an interesting place. So I'm just going to use if let. Now, if we do have that, what we can do is simply take this region here. Let's cut this and paste it inside of this. And we want to use our places coordinate. So we can just call place dot coordinate like so. And we're going to need to copy this region distance as well. Finally, once we have that, we can then take this set region call and place it here. And we can delete this line like so. And that's it. Let's build. We got an error here. Let's see what's going on using a radius before we've defined it. So we'll paste this right above here and build. Okay. This place coordinate is off of the location like so there we go so that works here and let's just check out this warning here in fact we can get rid of this okay everything's looking good let's build and run and see this in action okay here's our app running what we're going to do now is we can select one of these let's select bubblegum alley here and now if we tap on this view on map it's now going to set the map to be this place's location and in fact, let's just check this out. We'll zoom out of here. I believe this is in California. So, yep, this is correct. Let's close this. And let's choose another one. Let's choose this world's largest basket. And we'll view this on map. And you can see this. We have no way to annotate this yet to know if where this place is. We'll be covering that in a, in a future episode. But if we want to see it on the satellite map here, you can see the world's largest basket is clearly visible here. Right here. And our code to zoom in our map in this region is working as expected.